What's going on? Jason Phillips here, owner and founder of the Nutritional Coaching Institute. And today we are talking how to gain muscle without gaining fat. And as a former anorexic, this is one that is near and dear to me. I promise you, I'm going to bring you the truth about this uh, epic endeavor and hopefully help you on your way. But before I jump into that, really quickly, look below this video, do me a favor, give us a like, make sure you're subscribed so I can keep bringing videos directly to you. And as a free gift, I also wanted to share the Nutrition Coaches Cheat Sheet. All right, after coaching people for 16 plus years, these are all of the tactics I have used to create the results you know me for, and ultimately the same principles you can go out and use in your own coaching business or on yourself to see the results you desire. Now, let's talk. How do we gain muscle without ultimately gaining fat? The simple truth is, for most of you, you might not be able to. And here's why. A lot of people will talk about gaining fat-free mass. And what they don't talk about is where are they at in their training journey? Ultimately, what is their training age? So when you first walk into a gym and you first start lifting weights, you know, I don't care if you're doing a full body split, a body part split, upper, lower, I don't care if you're eating 1,000 calories, I don't care if you're eating 10,000 calories. The response from your body is largely neurological. It's, it's not really a physical response where you require a lot of fuel and then ultimately you require a lot of recovery. Instead, it's your brain adapting. It's new movement patterns. It's learning how to lift. It's learning how, you know, if you're a, a CrossFit athlete, it's learning how to exercise at certain cadences. These are all changes taking place in your brain and so obviously your body does change. And so a lot of people are like, but I gained so much muscle and it was all lean muscle. And yes, of course you did because you probably weren't eating enough calories. Your brain was changing. Ultimately, you were getting a physical stimulus and yes, you were getting a physical adaptation from it, but you weren't necessarily fueling or recovering from that direct stimulus. But as your training age increases longer and longer, you shift from that neurological adaptation to more of a physical adaptation. And physical adaptations do require an appropriate amount of input, and they do require, obviously, an ability to recover from those inputs. And so this is ultimately what I see happen in most people's journey, is they'll get six, seven, eight, nine months into their journey, and they're, they're killing it. They're losing fat, they're gaining muscle, you know, the unicorn, right? They're getting that recomp, and they're like, wow, this is amazing, and all of a sudden, one day, boom, they hit a wall, and they can't explain it. Their lifts in the gym are going down, their ability to gain new muscle is not happening, they're no longer uh, losing body fat, and in some cases, they're gaining body fat, and worst of all, they feel like crap. Well, this is that proverbial shift from the neurological adaptation to the physical adaptation. And when you're inside of this physical space, we must understand that to gain muscle, you must be in a small calorie surplus. Some arguments can be made and some literature suggests, yes, you can do this in a deficit at maintenance, but you're never going to make large strides. Certainly nothing you're ever going to see in the mirror and nothing you're ever going to you know, walk out on the beach and be proud to show off. So if we're really talking about lean tissue acquisition, things that you're gonna be proud of and want to show off, we're talking about getting yourself into a calorie surplus. Now, we know that over time in a calorie surplus, you can't only gain muscle. At some point, you are going to gain small amounts of body fat. So the real question you should be asking yourself isn't how do I gain muscle without the body fat, but perhaps consider it's how do I gain muscle with minimal amounts of body fat. And there are strategies for that. First and foremost, don't get sloppy with your nutrition. A lot of people look at an off season or a pursuit of gaining as, well, I don't need to be diligent. I don't need to track what I, you know, what I intake. I don't need to uh, you know, do as much cardio. I don't need to be as fit. And the reality is the more fit you are, the more efficient you are. But also, the more closely you are tracking your intake, a lot of times you're controlling your health variables, okay? So your gut health is gonna be better. You're actually going to be utilizing the nutrients you're taking in. You're gonna be keeping your fasting glucose under control. So all of those carbs you're taking in along with the protein are going to be utilized. They're not going to be stored as fat. And when you can do things like this, when you can keep your health status elevated along with your pursuit for muscle gain, you will gain the muscle and you'll do it with minimal amounts of body fat. So, my friends, if you are here and you are looking to grow, you're looking to get them gains that everybody is in pursuit of, uh, consider the fact that yes, you will probably need some sort of periodized schedule and when you're in that pursuit, you will gain a little bit of body fat. But your goal should be to go out to gain as much muscle as possible with as little body fat accumulation as possible, maintain your health status as high as possible, and at the end of the day, 
I think you'll be pretty happy with the results. Now, if you wanna know more about how to do things like this all across nutrition, whether it's gain the muscle, whether it's lose the fat, whether it's perform better, or whether it's coach other people to do so, do me a favor, look below this video. Of course, give us that like and get yourself subscribed, but click the link below and download the Nutrition Coaches Cheat Sheet. It is everything I've done in 16 years to help people just like you get the results they desire. And as a community for us to choose impact over everything.